This is Dave Kirloff with the Kirloff Baseball School in Anna, Texas and languageofhitting.com. I've been inside the baseball, softball, training business for over 30 years, and all the glory, honor, and praise belongs to Jesus Christ. During these 30 years, I've always leased or rented out buildings, flex space, warehouse space. The last facility I was in was actually inside of a shopping mall. It was beautiful. We just moved to Texas, and we have now our own building. Being an innovator and researcher, now that we have our own dedicated space and I don't have to answer to a leasing company, there's more flexibility to do things with the interior. And one of them has to deal with the lighting. Typically, but not always, if you have lights down the middle of the batting cage, they are dedicated in rows. For, for cage one, all the lights will turn off in cage one. For cage two, all the lights turn off. For cage three, all the lights will turn off in cage three. But with our new facility, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to wire the lighting so that the lighting would go in rows from the front of the batting cage all the way to the back of the batting cage. So as you can see, I'm turning off the lights section by section from the front where the pitching is all the way to the back where the hitting is. And now I'm turning on the lights from the front where the pitching machines are all the way to the back where the batter stands. Now, why did I have this special arrangement? It's because I've been following neuroscience for a long time. Namely, I've been studying neuroscience principles and concepts and how they can impact hitting. The reason why I had the circuitry and wiring for our lights installed this way is because I wanted to study perception and how perception affects hitting. You're gonna watch me hit in the dark. And the first test I do, I have the lights on actually behind home plate. The next test I do, I have the lights on over the pitching mound. The hardest test was when I put the lights on in the middle of the room, in the middle of the batting cage. This was hard. Again, this is a very unique setting. You may not see this anywhere else in the country. So let's give it a go. I've been waiting a long time to do this experiment. So the machine I'm using is in Masters Pitcher Machine, nicknamed the Iron Mike. The Iron Mike is set up about 50 feet away from me. It is showing, throwing machine dimpled baseballs. As you can see from this camera angle, there is lighting behind my back that is projected, that is softly projected out towards the machine. It is very difficult to see the ball exit the machine. As you see me hitting in this dark environment, it's difficult to see the ball. So then how do you explain that I can still hit line drives and airplanes? The theory I'm testing is this, that you don't necessarily need very good vision to hit. What the brain is relying upon is perception and past experiences and how to accommodate and recognize predetermined spaces, spaces where the ball is leading from and spaces where the ball is going to be getting into. It has been my research and my study and now my belief that the elite hitters of the game, they are born with a certain wiring how they can manage and calibrate and arrange space that moving objects are passing through. Elite hitters have a stronger perception for space. It's been my passion for over 30 years to study elite hitters. And if we can understand how they format their hitting skills, how they format a moving pitch, if we understand the calculations that they make, can we teach these calculations to average hitters or even mediocre hitters? And yes, with thorough research and testing, I am convinced that we can teach average and mediocre hitters what elite hitters are doing at home plate. With the lights turned on behind my back, what I am emphasizing while I'm hitting is to think faster than the ball is moving, to get my eyes in position to the space where the ball is gonna end up right before the ball is there. Part of the research that I'm doing right now, as you see, is that I am batting both right-handed and left-handed. Depending upon who you talk to in the world of academia, when a scientist is doing experiments, they usually are not part of the experiment. Well, in my community, when you're working with baseball and softball players, it is an advantage when you can step into the test laboratory and experience what your subjects are experiencing. The reason why you want to experience what they're experiencing is because ultimately, beyond being a scientist, you're a coach 
And if you can relate to what the player is dealing with, the visual patterns and the timing and the depth and the speed and the space, then it's easier to talk about and teach. From the 6.0 best hitting drill ever, video number 6.6 .6 specifically teaches hitters how to time your vision based upon your athletic disposition. The 6.6 .6 video, I even have it marked as the most important video of this online course. As plain as I can say it, you need to get this because no one else is talking about this element. Stop putting this off and stop delaying your son or daughter's development. This is too important. They're worth it. Let's get this done. When you order our 6.0 online hitting course, if you pay a little extra, I will come to your hometown and visit and work with your son or daughter face to face or come to Anna, Texas, and let's work together at the Kirloff Baseball School. And here's one more important note. Consider this, change your mind. Give Jesus Christ a try because he's ready to bless your life.